Hi guys, I want to show you our latest app called Engineering Economics Made Easy and it runs on handheld calculators CX, not on computer software. So let me give you an idea of what it does. Um, in the menu it's divided into five sections. The first one gives you general financial calculations that includes future value in worth of investments, depreciation, taxes, interest, etc. Then here, this is uh, the engineering aspect of it. Um, you can compute, as you can see, the geometric gradient, equal payment, all the important uh, computational formulas you would need in engineering economics. See A, P, A, F, F, A, A, G, P, G, F, P, P, F, etc and equivalent annual cost, EAC, etc. We also have economical calcul calculations here for you, such as marginal profit, price is el elasticity, consumer surplus, etc. And here the second part of it, um, Gini coefficients, simplex algorithm, GDP, expenditure, nominal and real interest rate, and lastly, we are concluding with some ma uh, useful math tools like using the rule of 72, solving exponential function sigma notation. And the sixth part is just um, the assistance and help section where you can uh, get some assistance on how to use the app and set the font size, etc. So let me give you some ideas. Future value, um, you can uh, uh, compute the principal given the future value um, by leaving the box for the principal empty and you can see the principal is 670 if you are given the principal let's say it's 670 and you want to figure out the future value then you just leave the future value box empty and you get uh, around a thousand as a future value that uh, makes sense so let me give you some other ideas. Okay, how about depreciation using the sum of digits method? If you use, let's say, 10 years, the first 10 integers add up to 55. That then means the depreciation uh, in year one is 1 over 55, in year two, 2 over 55, etc., etc., down to the 10th year. Um, income tax calculation. Say a company makes five hundred thousand dollars. How much taxes they have to pay? One hundred seventy thousand. This is uh, broken down by the initial amount, this much, and then uh, thirty-four percent of whatever is above three hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. Notice you change your value here a little bit. You immediately get uh, the new amount of taxes to be paid. All right. Moving right along, cash flow, want to find the geometric gradient. In this case, you fill in all the boxes, which is stated down here. You enter all the information given and uh, scroll down in the bottom. You can move up. You see the formula. You see the values plugged in, and you see the final answer. Change one value and immediately the final answer changes. So very handy. Um, equal payment, present worth, same idea. Enter all boxes, plug in the numbers, see the formula right here, see how the values are plugged in, and see how you arrive at your final answer. That's really how it goes in this app. Very useful. Here you have a combination of um, the interest factors. Okay, so you just put in the initial values um, as shown up here. Your then you, in the next box your interest rate and your time, and you go down, scroll up, and you can see how each part was being computed here. Okay, and. The final answer then is the, is the the annual worth is then the summation of those 
how much is it? One, two, three, four, five figures. I'm sorry, four figures. And then the last number, of course, is in the final answer, 4,554. All right, economical calculations. How about a break-even point? That's when the revenue matches the cost. Uh, both entered here, the revenue function first and the cost function next. So they have to be set equal to each other and they are equal. You can see right here, revenue equal cost when the quantities are 6.45 or the quantity is 193 and then their revenue and cost match. They're both 116 in that case, in the first case. In the second case, uh, they would match at 3,483. Okay, you can do price elasticity, consumer surplus, everything uh, very easy to compute here. Gini coefficient, you enter the five, um, what are those? Five quintiles here, then the areas are computed as trapezoidal areas. You get the total sum right here, 3,214 subtracted from 5,000. And then that number gets divided by 5,000 for a Gini coefficient of 0.35. Lastly, the math, math tools. Say you are, en you are entering a rate of um, 6%. Using the rule of 72, you divide 72 by 6 to get 12 as an approximated time to uh, double your investment. Okay, rule of 114 is integrated here as well, divide by 6, so it's about 19 years until your initial amount triples. The exact value is computed here as well as a reference, which is 18.31, and the same for quadrupling an investment. And sigma notation, lastly, if you are ever asked to sum up the values of a uh, expression or function n squared here in this case the first four numbers added up will give you 30 if your function says n cubed the first four integers um, of n cubed will give you 100 well this is uh, our engineering economics made easy app thanks for watching this app is available at tiinspireapps.com and again, only available for handhelds and not for computer software. Have a nice day.